Venus SCBA Self-Contained Breathing Apparatus Guide Welcome to the video demonstration of how to use Venus SCBA or Self-Contained Breathing Apparatus. In this video, we'll review detailed information on the following topics. The components of Venus SCBA Donning and use of Venus SCBA Venus SCBA Components The Venus SCBA consists of the backplate, a full face mask, a demand valve, cylinder and a display gauge for essential real-time monitoring. SCBA Donning and Use The compressed air cylinder is available in PET, carbon composite and steel material. PET and carbon composite cylinder comes with an analog pressure gauge to check the cylinder pressure in standby mode. The normal pressure of the cylinder can be read from the cylinder protocol or from the identification symbols. The demand valve is equipped with a quick release coupling and equipped with a safety mechanism. The demand valve is connected to the medium pressure hose with a single move. Dual QRC connector can be used for rescue operations. The connector must be pushed in. Now, the movable locking ring can be pulled upwards to release. The red button which is situated on the demand valve is used to stop the air supply from the demand valve. You can start air supply manually by pressing the air release button. This allows an increase of air volume if required. The demand valve should be connected in the designated lower middle area of the full face mask. Venus SCBA Handling To attach the cylinder to the backplate, place the backplate on a stable surface and extend the cylinder harness. Then attach the cylinder to the reducer on the backplate. To adjust the carrying harness, open the buckles of the waist belt and loosen all straps. To mount the SCBA, lift the backplate over your head as shown in the video. Elbows should be close to the body, allowing straps to drop over your shoulder. Lean forward so that the SCBA slides smoothly over your back. Simultaneously, tighten the straps on your shoulder to get a perfect fit on the backplate. Care should be taken to avoid over-tightening. The weight of the SCBA should be carried on the hips. Extend the straps of the full face mask head harness. Place the chin part of the mask on your face and gently push onto your face and adjust it by pulling the lower strap straight back first and pulling the upper straps afterwards. Reset the demand valve by pressing the red button and then open the cylinder valve fully. Following correct fitting of the face mask, the demand valve can then be connected to the face mask. Your first breath switches the demand valve to the positive pressure mode. Breathe in and hold your breath to make sure no air leaks or no leaking sound can be heard. Breathe out slowly. The used air is coming out of the exhalation valve port. Take the display gauge in your hand and close the cylinder valve. Breathe slowly while lowering the air pressure in the hoses. When the pressure is breathed down to 50 or 60 bar, the residual air warning should be activated. Breathe until the air in the system is completely used up. A vacuum will develop in the closed system and the mask is pressed against the face. Once the air is exhausted and the face mask seal is ensured, Immediately open the cylinder valve and the airflow will be restored. Once pre-checks are complete, the system is ready for operational use. After use, reset the demand valve via the red button. Then at the point at which the face seal is broken, lift and push on each of the bottom buckles of the face mask straps. Remove the face piece from the face. Close the cylinder valve 
fully. Press the air release button of the demand valve to release the residual pressure from the system. Release the tension of the waist belt straps and open the waist belt buckle. Lift the buckle on both shoulder pads to allow the adjusting straps to slide. Slide the left arm from the held hand shoulder pad and remove the equipment from the shoulders. Place the equipment down with care. The back plate, the straps and the pneumatic system should be cleaned with a clean and lint-free cloth that is dipped into a disinfectant solution. Don't dip the pneumatic system and the demand valve in the solution. Use a carrying case to keep the SCBA and accessories clean and safe during storage and transportation. Please see the user instructions for further details.